Alright, Channel 4110 and Jim Wright are back. Um, we just went on a little looting mission, and as I've come back to the compound, I got the infected sighted notice, and we're going to bring it on, which means we're about to get swarmed by zombies, and I've also upgraded Mr. Channel 4110 to level 4, but right now we're not going to worry about that. First of all, I need to find where... Okay, I'm out in the street. That's not really where I want to be. <laughs> you know, it did this to me... Well, this is the second time that I've... <laughs> ...taken on the zombies. I don't know, it gives me a hammer and it gives Jim a knife. I don't know why it takes our weapons away from us. Jim's got good cover. I'm kind of guarding these two doors. handled the horde fairly easily. Let's go in here and upgrade. Hmm. Recon would be for trap spotting and movement speed. Medic, of course, would help me with healing. I can increase my engineering skill. Trap disarming, improvised combat, scavenging speed, which actually is a positive one. Melee combat. Hmm. And we're going to go with scavenging. What the heck. And this is our to-do list. We need to build another small barricade. Maybe we'll put one outside this door. <clears throat> okay, go to our building. Security, small barricade, build. Okay. So now let's see what else we still need to get. I need to upgrade my wood and my cloth storage capabilities. And I'm five, I'm ten, ten short in my metal and five short in my cloth. So we're going to have to go out. Find some metal and some cloth. <clears throat> and where better to find metal and cloth than a convenience store? So away we go. characters as close together as I can.
much in the way of zombies in here. <clears throat> There's a lot of aspects to this game that I don't understand yet. And there's something you do with recycling, and I've got a bunch of items that I can recycle, but I'm afraid to do it. I don't know if I'm supposed to, if, you know, I'm just, how it's going to affect, um, you know, my supplies and so on and so forth. I don't want to lose stuff that, you know, maybe later on I could use to build something. I know there is crafting, but again, I'm so new that <clears throat> I haven't really had a opportunity to do any of that yet. I did make one improvised weapon, but it was so poor that I don't use it. <laughs> I just stay with the basic knife. Okay, yeah, this is a pretty empty area. No zombies. No loot, really, to speak of. Apparently there's something I'm missing. Unless I missed the screen notification that told me I cleared everything out. Which apparently I did. Oh, no, there it is. And we'll just put Jim by the door. bottle of fuel. Okay, for the first time here, we've... the map looks like it's broken into uh, territories, and um, usually everything around us has been kind of highlighted in red, and you can't go there this territory next to us. It looks like it is available now. And I'm not sure if we could run into other players or how it works, but we're going to head over here and check out this residence. to see in here. Maybe just because we've progressed a little bit, we're opening up more map area. As I don't see any other players, which with our little group, that's quite a good thing. Come on, Jim, get over here. searching away. What will we find?
Jim's aim is a little suspect, but we're working on that. Oh, I know there's something we've missed. A body. Something else we've missed. <laughs> and there we go. One last kill before we leave. And now we're running some upgrades. It's going to take about an hour. We're going to upgrade our metal storage and our food storage. And we're going to work on the cloth storage and then uh, try to add a few amenities to the compound and then hopefully attract another survivor. And um, that'll really help us out a lot. So we will be back in the not too distant future. And thank you for watching Channel 4110.